Hello everyone and welcome in. Uh, today we're on my alt account, the one in Grandmaster, and we're doing classic capitals with fixed cards and fog on. Nothing else, no blizzards, no portals. Uh, one bot, apparently somebody did not ready up, the blue player. What a chicken. Okay, choose my capital. Ooh, baby. Oh, look at my positioning. So Central Europe is a great capital. Siam's a great capital. What are these guys? They're symbols. They're all different countries, though. I made sure everybody was from a different country when I joined this game. Um, <clears throat> maybe, like, Middle East is also decent. But, like, I think Center Europe is probably the play. Like, having an 8-stack. We'll see what Blue does with this. If it rolls the 2 or my 3 or something gets really weak, I might be able to take a turn 1. I also have, like, these troops to fortify. Because, say I add my capital here, and I add three, that, that adds three troops here. If blue bot rolls this, oh wait, it's neutral AI. Duh. That's essentially a wall for the rest of the game. Is that just an infinitely growing capital that's going to take forever to kill at the end of the game? How does neutral... AI work with fixed capitals if he just builds forever. Every turn he's just going to keep adding to the cap. Oh, I should have put neutral bots. That's interesting. Or uh, not neutral. I should have put automated. So I did think really hard. Like, obviously, this is a cap people love for Australia. It's like a free Australia hold. But people also love Australia. So there's the orange four. Uh, yellow might make this a five and put his cap here. Red might make this a cap of seven and put his cap here. There might be somebody back here that's got a bigger stack that also puts their cap back here that I don't see. And then, like, Australia is just a nightmare. I'd rather go for a Europe claim. I need to kill this three. Speaking of somebody putting their capital way back here, it was done. So I need to get blue out of Europe because I want Europe. So I'm going to hit this three. And then blue can add troops everywhere else. I'm cool with that. This is a pretty strong looking start. I'm just gonna start edging my way towards Europe slowly, maybe a little quick, we'll see. So, uh, blue player, I don't remember where they were from. I think the States, but they bought it out or they didn't ready up. Uh, where we've got me on my alt, we've got Zulatek from Christmas Tree Land, which I found out is now uh, Lebanon, but uh, We'll probably keep calling it Christmas Tree Land. Uh, General Takeuchi from Denmark. I don't know that's the Denmark flag. I cheated and I remembered it from the game lobby. <laughs> uh, Germany, General Batra. And General Anzai from Turkey. We had two Turkish players in the lobby. Just to be a bit precautious. Uh, precautious? Cautious? Uh, I did remove one of them and let somebody else join after. Because uh, two people from the same country is a little... I'm not superstitious. Right? Like, I'm just a little a little bit stitious, as the great Michael Scott would say. 14 cap. I want him to take this bonus. Well, if I don't ally green, he doesn't know I got it. Yellow's my only ally. Should I really show him that I'm taking this? What's going to happen in here? So this blue is just going to get bigger and bigger. One, 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 one. And we have to kill the bot at the end of the game, I believe. 
because it started as that as that so I think I just continue working on this let's go this way hitting twos are not ideal but uh I know this this looks weird, but I don't want them moving in. So if I leave a one and red adds troops to take an easy card, he's essentially putting more troops in my way and coming in. I don't want that. Green's slowly taking this bonus. If I can get a big trade on three, we're going to complete Europe. Right, like, theoretically, I'm going to hit this orange two before green gets all the way up here. Oh, did he just suicide? Oh, he went up. He went up and fortified, okay. I don't know what my eyes are doing to me. So I'm gonna roll this two, hopefully get an artillery and then position to take this three next with my big trade with my big luck. I would love that. Give him a thumbs up. I mean, he's not really gonna have access to me once green guards this, I'm assuming. Yeah, he's gonna come in and fortify to the cap. Real smart, actually. That's a good play. Interesting. I don't necessarily like when my opponents make great plays, do I? No, I don't want to just be beaten up on uh, newer players. That's not fun. He's signaling he wants that? No. I want you out. I was hoping he'd blitz that, because that's a bad blitz roll. I get five. All oh, right, because of the. Uh... I take this. Can I just get better dice rolls, bro? Yeah, so I can hit. Ah, oh, no artillery. Come on. I want it so bad. Okay. <clears throat> I have to be careful now. I have to start stacking my capital. Just on, in case, like, because if green has a big trade on three, puts 37 stack here and just goes for a little look-see and I'm sitting on 12 or a low number, I'm hurting. And, like, the odds of him having a big set on three aren't the highest. The odds of him using it, putting it all here, and going up looking into Europe to... It's unlikely, but you, you want to look at those scenarios and you want to prevent that. Like, what if he does? Like, green's probably going to add three and take this bonus and guard a little bit in North Africa, maybe leave a couple in Egypt and then big stack on East Africa. That, that'd be reasonable to suspect. But if he does have a big set and he comes up or he comes here and here and he sees this border of black, does he think I have Europe and he just takes a peek? And if he takes a peek, his curiosity could be the death of me. Orange is not taking a card. He wasted his turn thinking about nothing. Interesting. That wasn't the bot that added five there. It would have just randomly dispersed them, right? If you have three territories, what's the odds that all five times a bot goes to put a troop down and puts it on here? Very, very low. <laughs> no. He's here. He just uh, ran out of time. I really want to roll a four or a seven on three here. Maybe bring this in. I just, oh, it's so scary. Well, I would put four here, seven on three, one here, make this a 13, and then 14, 15. Is 15 enough to feel comfortable? Or do I need to just chill? Like this orange three being here is annoying. Maybe I could uh, get through if I fortified these down. Red wants an alliance. Then I'm, an, I'm sorry, I need to attack your territory. 
Thumbs up. Can he? Maybe he'll roll that because I asked him. Or maybe he'll, maybe he'll just let me hit the three. I'd rather he suicides it. Keep going. Roll the three. No. Oh, do I take a chance on green or do I just play overly safe? Like, what are the odds? Yeah, blues cap's just gonna grow, grow, grow. A little bit nervous. Seven on three. I, I'm. Oh, I'm gonna do it. Big trade. Okay, I have a big trade on four. What are the odds he has a big trade on three? Every time. Okay. He immediately comes up. Oh, he's allied with red or something. He saw that. He's allied with red. He came in and saw that. Oh, I'm pissing off the Christmas tree land people. You don't do that. You don't do that. They do not like to be pissed on. Some people do. Orange was down here. I didn't know that. I thought green took these already. So you're just going to big stack on your cap and you're not going to take Africa? I mean, at some point, because I'm not going to retake the Middle East, I'm going to take this and leave a two. He's going to come through Egypt. And then I'm going to take it and leave a two. And then he's going to come through North Africa. At some point, he's going to get Africa and want to hold it. And at some point, he's going to have this wall of green here, stopping his cap from coming through. So he'd have to roll me with something other than his cap. He... Big trade on three, of course. You disgusting human. Oh, and that's where my plus two is! No way! If I was really greedy, I would take a card here. And guard this with a 2 and leave this as a 1. So when he breaks me, he comes here. But then I'm taking another chance on him uh, coming into my 15. I'm not going to take a secondary chance of that. <laughs> I'm just going to cash, take the 10. It's fine. So orange is back to taking cards. But... Yellow is now temporarily a bot. I don't know if he's going to stay a bot. Offered an alliance to Christmas Man, and he did not like it. Hmm. Well, if he doesn't take Africa, Yellow's going to keep adding to this too, which is just good. Just good business. So Urkuxin or in Egypt. Um Well, I'm definitely unlikely to get to Urkux Tux. I'll save Egypt just in case I come down and we have some stuff going on. Trying to plan out where I might get a plus two later. Okay, we are one artillery away from another big trade. That would be very fortunate. Bye. Trying to fist bump him, he's gonna break me again. Oh, or does he take the bonus? Oh, he stopped! He stopped! He broke me one time and he chilled! Give me that Europe, give me that juice, baby. It's kind of funny. This back corner here of troops, to, like for later getting kills on whoever's in here, is guarded by two bot stacks that are going to continually grow. Because the bot's not here or here or in here. 
So the bot has one, two, three positions, four and five, maybe. It's got at least three positions. And it adds five troops every turn. So minimum five troops get added to this section every turn. Just to block stuff. Wait, are you gonna leave two orange? What is this? Is this too much uh, too much thinking for you? You just... Are you Arco? No, take a card. Okay. You got a card? In here. Did you do... You did something here? Or in here? You did get a card, though. Be my friend. I offered you an alliance. Where it's going to take that. <laughs> He's slowly doing it. I wonder if Orange is just waiting to go buck wild in here. Where do I take a card? All these stacks in here I don't like. I don't want to hit the two. I don't want to hit this one or this one. If I hit this one, green's going to take that by hitting a black one, and then he might just be like, let's hit another black one. If I take this, it opens his stack up. Maybe I want to open his stack up this way just in case he gets horny. Oh, uh, yellow came back. Maybe he's having connectivity issues. He came back, but he hasn't been able to make a move. It's unfortunate. Ideally, I'd like everybody to play the game. It, it, like, it gets weird when it turns into like a three or four player game with a few bots. And it takes away from the enjoyment of uh, beating them. Right, so red and green are definitely humans. Orange is also a human. So we've got four players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thumbs up. Yeah, big thumbs up. He's still not taking this. He's really worried about this uh, orange trade and psychotic run here. Which I want to set green up for in case he does do it. Because <laughs> if... Oh, oh, I got ten troops. So if orange would run on him, then red would retaliate and move everything to this capital. But then I would want green to have access in case green goes nuts on him. Attack orange. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually open green up here. It's not my favorite choice. Yeah. He leaves a four, so he does break me. Okay. He doesn't take this, so this is gonna keep getting troops. He saw me get ten and he, he's like, oops. Hmm. I'm just gonna retake it and fortify, right? I'm not gonna not gonna press the issue. Yeah, so he trades. What do you do, tacky tacky? Can you see in here? You're not allied with me. Are you allied with red? Are you gonna hit a bunch of blue? You're just hitting a bunch of red outside of Yeah, you're coming in here to say hi. Come down here. Keep, keep going for a look. Go down into green, say hi. No, you stop. Okay. As long as e Egypt's staying green is good for me. If he comes through Middle East, then I'll leave that green also. Make it a little harder for him to break me. Hmm. Yellow is still gone. Hopefully it comes back again. Like, if green's going to keep doing this, maybe I start knocking these twos out instead of retaking? We'll see. For now, I'm going to retake. Maybe I retake Southern Europe? Maybe I retake Southern Europe and I make green think I have it? And he comes up to check and he sees I don't have it. And then he stops checking maybe later. Eh, I should just take it, honestly. Fifty-two troops. I, I could start working on him in here. 
right? Green is still getting five, right? Yeah. Nobody's really getting much. Or is yellow still getting seven? He's So yellow still has this, which is funny. Very funny to me. Orange broke the line. Okay, sure. Bro, are you on the drugs? Are you on the drugs, sir? Oh. This is not the kind of cards I would like. Okay, green breaks me again. Fine. Our alliance is over. Okay, I understand. Our alliance is good. Our alliance is over. Makes perfect sense to me. This yellow four is going to grow. Oh! And here's the buck wild rolling. Red's not in here. Is red in one of these two spots? He's in this this spot here. Had 17 left over. He went back to his cap with. So if orange and red go nuts on each other. We just got to beat green in whatever fight we have. Pretty confident that's possible. I'm also, I would like green to come through here to break me so I can have access with my cap this way. I'm going to come down. I think I'm going to start taking greens North America out now because he deserves it. Oh, triple dudes. You knew it was coming. You just, you knew it was coming, but we just. I think he knocked orange out of down here. Triple dudes, but I get two in Iceland, so I get six trade. Woo! 60 troops. Green's on 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. All right, uh, two and one. So he's on like 52. Not knowing what's here is the problem. And so here's another stupid thing. Blue has a 16 here and like a 12 or something here, guarding this whole back corner. And now white or yellow's also bought it out and he's got a six and a four guarding back here as well. And it's gonna add more troops. That's a four, and that's 10 troops guarding it. And now it is. <laughs> now it's 12 troops guarding it. Whoever is. So red here is really good. Whoever's in Yakuxtatuxkin or Kuxtatux are uh, a little bit protected from me right now. Maybe green's in here. Hit orange said good game and gave up his cap. I think I don't add here and come around. I think I add here and come... No, green's going to see it anyways. He's trying to card block red and he's succeeding. So I have to play this smart. i got to take advantage of what happens here. I think red's waiting for an orange suicide, and if orange suicides, red gets to take this and sit on Siam with everything, which is good for him. Um, Hey, blue, why don't you, or green, why don't you have no vision of anything now? Oh, another dude! I needed a dude this time, though. It's the Irkuxtix guy. I need the cannon. Yeah, big trade for you again. Come on in. The water's warm. 
Oh, he's gonna actually hit my five, go back to North America. Good dice. I do not like this guy. He hits orange out of there, though. His green seems to be hitting a lot of orange. He knocked orange out of here. He did all of that to knock orange out of there. And also to hit me, but... Orange big trade. Does he go hit green? It opens me. Opening me is good. Thanks. So red is here and here. I really don't know what's in here. So yellow's gone now. So yellow stops adding troops, which is good. Oh, he's actually going to take a card there. Lose five troops. Now I can see! It's just yellow and blue. I don't have to get back there. Thank you. Oh, alliances are so cool. Dude, you're a homie. All right. <clears throat> yellow and blue are gonzo. He wants me to attack orange, but I have a fight with green. I mean, you can't do anything to me if I don't hit orange, so, uh... Dude, I'm about to mute you because you're really annoying. Okay, shut up. Oh, another horsey. Give me an artillery, bro. Christmas tree land, you are my enemy. These two are an enemy. Like, red's just spamming me to hit orange. I don't care about your fight with orange, because I'm dealing with green. Right, taking a card out here, being a pain. I could take your capital, bro. I'm not. It's the yellow eight. It's the yellow five. Taking cards on these are like, I don't understand, but that's cool with me. Or is he just hiding back here? Imagine I could take North America. That's much better guarded from green if I could actually take North America. Um, hmm. Yellow's gonna stop adding to North Africa also. I want him to come around. I want him to do this. Red broke the alliance. <laughs> I muted you. If you've been spamming me. Yeah, he's going to come in the back, but see a three. Oh, and he gets perfect dice. Come on. Why is that the way? I did get an artillery, though. Okay, it's perfect dice, and then he loses the three on one. So that works out. Damn it. Just opening green up to more avenues with his full stack. Very unfortunate. I know his cap's very low or empty.
Blue's not going to get as annoying to kill us. Like, after winning this game, having to kill Blue's not that big of a deal, honestly, or take us cap. It's, it is adding reasonably slow. Uh, take the Central America. I could take the Southern Europe, actually. I'm going to have Central America a lot longer than Central Europe. I'm not guaranteed to have, uh, sorry, Southern Europe forever. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't care if you see me slidering green. I don't care if my speed's good for you. I don't care if you have a feeling about my skill level. I want to. Ooh. I'll do this. Ooh, artillery. I need that. Okay, now I need a dude. At most, I lose that four stack and a bunch of ones. Another big trade. You are king of the big trades. I think that's three for three now. Four for four. Okay, it's got Egypt. I need him to take this too. I need to get orange out of here. Maybe I go down and just... I, I keep meaning to go down here and sit here. I also don't want orange to hit it out of fear. Ah, uh, I want you to hit the green too, not my one. I guess I can take the four around now. Nine, eight, seven, in. Bring the six down. I want a bit of a stack here. Oh, he hits that. Maybe I knock right out of that side? <clears throat> That's really good. If I can knock right out of that side and then just kill this, blue might, or green won't even know until I at least get it, right? I don't have a trade right now, though, so red's going to add more troops there. Or maybe he won't. Not taking his single cap. I'm cool with orange right now. Red's going to take a card up there. Yeah, go ahead, break me. It's fine. I have access with my stack over here now. Red's playing so patient, and so is Orange. I'm like, neither of them have, like, committed to something crazy. Orange is not going any further, because then Red can cap roll him. Or, or, sorry, stack roll him. Stack roll him, and then come in and take this and put everything here. Then Orange's game loses, right? With attacker's advantage from Red. He's telling me to hit his territory if needed. Good luck. No, he's going to suicide. Then Red, no... Red kills you then. No, don't do it. Just leave there. Stay there. Slow roll? Okay, slow rolls are cool. Another slow roll. Don't blitz. Oh, you suck. You suck so hard. He's going to kill you in trade. He doesn't... Yeah, he's going to kill you in trade. Unless he doesn't know that orange is not in here. I, I think he kills him. I think he just goes all the way. He didn't go all the way. I get his three. Oh, yes. Do I, I'm going to kill red for his five, I think. I think I kill him for his five. I don't have a big trade, but I should be good after the orange. Um, <clears throat> I thought Red was going to take a card here, so I left the three there instead of up here. Okay, I need decent 
dice. That's a double trade. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, decent Central America or Ontario. Um, do that and a triple. Oh, I don't have a double trade, actually. Oh, bad dice. Two dice slider blitz, so I could three on that. It was kind of pretty reasonably optimal play there. Okay. Oh, big trades galore. Double big trade, I think. Um, Eastern Australia, Alberta, Indonesia. Yeah. I don't know. We'll just do the stuff. Indonesia or Alberta? We'll go Indonesia. Should probably care more about this. Bring the four out. Big trade in. Big trade again, because he lives on the big trades. You suck. I got a bad roll. If I got a good roll, it was super game over. Now it's close. 79 to my 76. But I have more caps. Bad roll. Decently bad. He's going to camp in here, and I can, I can card block him. He's going to come here, and I can card block him. Not immediately, but he's going to get nine per turn, and I'm going to get way more. Okay. I think that's really good for me. Come around with a five and come down. And go back to my... Yeah, we'll do this. Oh, he left 10 there. Interesting. Hmm. I don't really want to roll his 10 cap. Oh, it's unfortunate. Maybe I got two aggro killing red. Nah. Man, most times you roll a cap, you lose like the same or less. It's going to be really tough to win now. I Can I sneak North America? I don't think so. I think he's coming all the way. Just to make sure. This is going to be tough now that he's got this locked up. I do have territory advantage, though. And I might be able to card block him to the point where he can't break this. We'll see. He also has to hit caps. And if he doesn't slider blitz and I do slider blitz, that's an advantage for me. Hmm. Although his dice, though... Actually, this is decent because he can't come through here anyways. Okay, is that a big trade? Oh, no. I need a dude. <laughs> Another big trade on three. Dude, this guy's card luck is inc- He lost, what, 10 extra, and I lost about 17 or 18 or 20 extra, something like that? Oh, is he going all the way around the world? Okay. Oh, Christmas Tree Land is going to feed it to me today. 
Can I recover? Because what does he get per turn? He's getting 11. I'm getting 7 and less now. Ugh! <laughs> the 11 is just too much to overcome, I think. We'll see. If, we'll see what his patience level is. He has a giant advantage. Oh, I, I'm and I'm losing troops on perfect. Sl perfect slider blitz. I lose three troops in a row. That is uh, incredibly unlikely. Absolutely, <laughs> incredibly unlikely. Okay, we got a dude. I have a big trade. Maybe I should have taken the ten off Europe and then. Full guarded this with 10 more. Right? Because I, I held this with 20-something. 20 29. Maybe. And then 10 here. I could have put that here. This is probably the most important to hold. Two guaranteed caps and a bonus. This right here is 9 troops. Without anything else. And then anything going on up here doesn't really matter. It's all breakable. Like, he's fighting me from a stronger position. And I think I gave up the stronger position. It's a mistake. Oh, can I take North America? No, I wouldn't be able to hold it. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's keep his territories down. First importance. Me hitting that yellow nine to get North America is just, it's not worth it. He doesn't have a big trade, so I can chill like this. What's he got? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I don't really want to open him to this 13, though. Oh, I should have brought one of the twos out. He can't also double roll my stat, my cap. If that was a 14, it'd be just better. Ah! No! We're going down. We're going down today. Unfortunate. Making a few key errors. Getting a bad dice roll. Getting a couple. No, I, like, my trades weren't even that bad, right? I had, uh... He's had big trade every single time. But, uh, I don't think I can blame that, necessarily. And if he, he just keeps playing chill... Uh, I'm losing troops on perfect slider blitzes. What is this? Luck is not with me today. Playing slightly off this morning, and the luck is not with me. That's two downsides. Is he gonna hit that cap? Oh yeah, he is. Big trade on three again! Bro. Bro. I mean, yeah, just end me. That's that's fine. Well played. <laughs> what is this game? Uh, he should be able to kill me right now. No, not quite. Just because of the way the 2-2s two split over here. Not really killable. Oh, well played. We will take our second place. Can't win them all. So I misplayed. So A, if I got lucky or hitting the red cap, it's over. Um, hitting caps is generally gives you better results than what I hit. But okay. So that went a little wrong for me. My biggest mistake was not just... I should have just hard committed. No Australia, no win. I should have hard committed everything to it and guarded it. And then he can't hit this cap. He could take Europe. He can do whatever he wants. But I'm guaranteed 9 a turn and a big stack to come through and break everything. So, uh, yeah. There you go. Nice straight shot for you, sir. You've got me. Make this a 27. You can come right through. Pretty easy. You make that a 5. Just end me, bro. End me! Take me out of my misery! 
yeah, so I should have hard committed to Australia. It was the stronger position in the 1v1. I didn't think he'd hit it. He played a lot better than I was expecting, if I'm being honest. Sometimes I underestimate my opponents. I should always assume they're going to make the best plays. But uh, I've played so many games with people that uh, don't necessarily do that. <laughs> and so I you have to gauge your opponent's skill level and play around their skill level, right? Like if you think somebody's going to play really well and then you play according to that and then they do a big noob move and you're like, I wasn't expecting that, you kind of have to account for noob moves too. So I misjudged his skill level. Pretty good game. We had two experts, two intermediates. We got second overall there. He's got to clean up the blue bot, the yellow. He doesn't have to clean up the yellow bot. He can clean up the blue bot, though, and he's good. Yeah, so I'm, I'm happy to lose a game uh, based on my mistakes rather than uh, stupid bullshit. So <laughs> losing a game on my own mistakes, perfectly fine. Uh, thank you for joining me till the end of the video. Please subscribe to the channel. I know the countdown to 17 million seems never ending, but we are almost there. And we're getting very close. So if you click the subscribe, we'll be a little bit closer. And uh, have a great rest of your day. And have a good holidays.